Hey everybody, it's me again. I have a uh, another Minecraft tutorial for you guys today. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to download and install um, an HD texture pack in Minecraft. Uh, so before we start, I want to talk a little bit about what defines an HD texture pack. Um, the normal Minecraft, the, like if you look at the terrain.png, um, I believe it's a ping, that's how it's pronounced, but anyways, um, each block is 16 by 16 pixels, so that's really that's not very detailed at all it just it's very simple um so the default minecraft doesn't look that great in that respect um but if you get an hd texture pack instead of 16 by 16 um it can be 32 by 32 or 64 by 64 so it's just uh more resolution it's bigger per square so uh all in all it just makes it look a little better um in my opinion so Let's get started. How to install one. You can't just install one like normal. If you wanted to just add it into the game, it would glitch. It would look really bad and it just wouldn't work. Uh, so this is the program you need. It's called MC Patcher. Really what it does, it just it takes your Minecraft.jar and it mods it with some magic and it uh makes it work. So to get this program, you want to go to the link in my description, MC Patcher, and uh, I'll go to the website. It'll take you here. It's the Minecraft forums and it'll take you to this thread. So scroll down until you get here and just download it. It's an exe file. Uh, so download it or on Mac, you know, that type of thing. So download it and uh, now you need an HD texture pack. Um, so you want to go to the Minecraft forums once more uh, and you can go to board index. Here, I'll just take you here. Um, board index, Minecraft what <laughs> mapping and modding and texture packs and if you go to the texture packs part it's got tons of different texture packs that you can check out uh, in my description I'll post some of my favorite texture packs uh, the ones that I the HD ones that I l think look good so you can tell this is HD because it's 64 by 64 so it's obviously not just the default Minecraft which is 16 by 16 so in order to do this one you need MC patcher which we already downloaded so if you go here you can download the texture pack. Uh, here's the download, and they are all .zip. Okay, well that kind of failed. Um, I wasn't able to download it. It's not a very tough process. I'll just explain it rather than show you guys. Um, I'll, I'll still guide you through this. So first, open up MC Patcher, and uh, you should have downloaded any HD texture pack. I'm sorry that that didn't work, but that was <laughs> there was some sort of issue. Um, but anyways. Uh, it just as long as it's a dot zip this will work perfectly fine so open up MC patcher so this is what it looks like um, it's just a program that mods the mods your minecraft.jar so it works with HD texture packs it doesn't do anything else um, so this is kinda confusing you need to open up your original minecraft.jar so click browse uh, you want to go to your username type in app data down here um, go to roaming.minecraft and open up the bin and here is your all these files so your original believe it or not is this one the one that says minecraft dash some number dot jar not just the minecraft dot jar this is original so you want to click on this and click open so now it'll say that now the output I think default uh, it should be good but let's just check so the output is going to be minecraft.jar not this one that's the original the output is right here so click save yes we want to replace it um, so what it's going to do is it's going to take the original minecraft.jar and it's going to mod it and give us a new one um, if you have any mods uh, already on your minecraft.jar um, I believe they should be fine uh, with this process so I don't think you have to worry about that um, so this you click texture pack and you browse and you just want to find the dot zip file that you downloaded like I said I couldn't get that one um, it's just it's down right now so I wasn't able to get it but as long as it's a dot zip file just uh, browse find it wherever it is on your computer um, and then do that so automatically this should pop up with the right number uh, so if you if you choose the texture pack it should know which one it is um, if it doesn't and it just stays on 16 by 16 and you're sure it's an HD texture pack, you need to go to the thread and uh, read around and make sure it, you find the right number because 
you definitely need the right number. If it's not the right, uh, if it's not the right dimensions, the tile size, then it's not going to work. It's going to really have some errors. So down here, these are just extra options that you can add. Um, Minecraft Patcher, MC Patcher has some automatic things that it can add to the to the uh, texture pack. It can make the water look a little nicer and stuff like this. All of this really uh, it it'll drop your FPS by a few. So it really hasn't been an issue for me, so I usually just do all of them, but uh, they have a high-res font. They have all this stuff, so you can select which ones you want. Um, if you don't know which ones to select, I just select them all. It's really not going to make that big of a difference. Um, it'll just look a little nicer. So when you're done, you just click Patch, and it'll patch it up. Um, that's pretty much it. If it, And then you can say Test Minecraft, and if there's an error, you can click Unpatch, and it'll... Uh, back up and then if you want you can try it again if there is an error most likely it's because you have either the wrong tile size or your uh, original and outputs aren't right so make sure you have everything selected right and that's really it once you hit patch it'll add the texture pack and add the little patch thing that uh, makes the game work so you can start up Minecraft and it should look uh, pretty HD so that's really uh, all the information I have for you guys um, thank you guys for watching and I really hope that helped uh, so I'll see you later.